Hi guys, and uh, this is my th the th third day for the bow run and two whistle beginners. Um, I still haven't got the bones yet, but I'll try and get them as soon as possible. I will get them before the um, 30, 31 days, <laughs> practically a month. And now in Ireland, it's the 1st of April, so we kind of, I'm going to add two days. So it's going to be a month and two days, so we can just kind of do it. And um, so if you have a bow on, so you need your bow on, um, sorry, your sticks, um, your to whistle, or your book and pencil, or pen, or whatever, marker. Um, for my, like I'm an advanced bow on player by now. Um, because I've been playing it for three months, four months, so I kind of, well, not in advance, but kind of the uh, basics of, I know of the basics. But for my liking, like, for my style, I would practice every day for an hour and just listen to reels and jigs and then play with them. Um, because, like, you can't just sit there just playing a reel. You have to play with music, like, it's the whole part of playing the bow on. Um, so I hope you remember, oh sorry about the steak of these, your sausages and chips, so I'm going to play it quickly. Remember like this, or like this, see so remember, it's if you hold it like this, so if you hold it like this, it's uh, kind of like, so you don't want that kind of sound, so you hold it like this. Remember, hold it like a pencil, turn it into you. Okay, so we're just so we're gonna go sausages and sausages and sausages and chips, sausages and sausages and sausages and chips, sausages and chips, sausages and chips, sausages and sausages and sausages and chips. That's the sausages and chips, and I hope you guys remember our on the bean. And I hope you guys practiced uh, the first bit because um, if you don't practice, you're not gonna, you're not really gonna like kind of get it. Um, so we're gonna start with a rig, um, a real a rig. Um, we're gonna start with a, a jig. So we're gonna get onto the jig now. Okay, so we're just waiting on this, <coughs> and we can see a selfie selfie stick in the back of it. Anyways, um, sorry, that paused. Yeah. So basically, we're gonna try. Um, we're, this this jig is actually called um the Celtic jig, and there's loads of reels called the Celtic reel. So you kind of you have to know which one is which because there is a lot of Celtic, 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 um, like reels and jigs because. Um, the Celtic, the Celts made these kind of reels and jigs, like they're actually from Celts. Um, so we're going to start with a bit of a jig, so we're going to start that now. Okay, so this is the um, jig now, I'm going to play it, just turn it up a bit. So you can kind of hear the bow on that and I'm going to join in with it, so we're going to join in with it. Now, the, 
the reel is the hardest, so we're going to go on to the tin <clears throat> Now we're going to start with the tin whistle. Hope everyone's favourite thing. Now, we're going to try our little scale first. So sorry about that, I'm actually like... <gasps> okay, um, so the first line was... D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, D sharp, A, pause, A, B, B, G, B, A, B, A. So I'll show you that again. It's only from there to there. Okay, so we're going to try it now. So I hope you've written it down or something like that. So... There's eight lines in it, but there's one line that is so, 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 so simple. Um, is it goes B, C, 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 B, A, A. We're going to learn that on the other line. So we're going to learn one line today, the two lines the next day. Um, one line, one line, one line, one line. So that's seven. Okay, so we're going to try and break it down a little bit. So we're going to go from the second line. So it goes... See the second line? D, C, B, C, D, E, F, E, B, C. Okay, so we're going to try that. So it goes D sharp. So it goes. Oh, I'm so sorry. So I'll show you that. I'll show you that second line. There. This one there. Start from D. Only goes. Only goes to the C. Remember, your little apostrophe is like a apostrophe S. It's D sharp. So. It's Um, sharps with G A B or C because if you go C it's like <coughs> and that's just blowing a normal whistle. So we're going to try that again. So it goes D D E F D A A B B G B A B A D C B C D E F E B C. So it's like A B C. Some of them. So we're gonna do. Now, I'm sure if you want to go slow, you can go slow. And remember to subscribe and say um, that if you want to go over the, the scale or go over the lines, or I can just take a picture of them and like maybe show them in the next video. For some people, so we're gonna go again. Okay, so that's basically the two lines. Now we're gonna try and play it all together. Okay, so that's our um, little uh, lesson done for today. For only about 10, the highest is 19 minutes, but it's not, it's, it's not going to be more than 20 minutes, so, uh, because if it's long, so people don't watch long things. So I'm going to write the, the notes that you kind of have to learn for tomorrow in the description, and um, then I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye, and please subscribe if you um, want to help anything. Bye!